What's up guys, this is Masi. Welcome to another video. In this video, I want to talk about factoring by grouping. I'm gonna give you lots of examples and in each example, I'm gonna go through it in details. First example I have here is 5x times a plus b plus 3 times a plus b. The answer is going to be a plus b is common between both of them so I can factor a plus b and then we can write 5x plus 3. Next one is 3m x plus 1 plus 5 times x plus 1. So now in this case you can factor x plus 1 and then you write 3m plus 5. Next one is 7x m minus 3 minus 3 times m minus 3. So again, m minus 3 is common, so you can factor it, and then you have 7x minus 3. Next one is 4y p plus q plus 2x p plus q. As you see here, p plus q is the common one, so I can group it, and then here we have 4y plus 2x. Next one is 3t m minus 6 plus m minus 6. m minus 6 is common. Here we can write 3t plus 1. You don't see it here, but the coefficient here is 1. And you have something like that. 3m times x plus y minus x plus y. So here, x plus y is common between these two. So you can factor x plus y. And then you're going to end up having 3m minus 1. Next one, it is WX plus WY plus XZ plus YZ. So here you can factor W, so it's going to be X plus Y. And here you can factor Z, so it's going to be X plus Y. Therefore, you can say W plus Z times X plus Y. That's the factored form. Next one it says x plus xy plus 12 plus 4x plus 3y. Here you can factor 4 or you can factor x in here, x and x. So you can group these two and then factor x, y plus 4 then, right? Because x, y divided by x is going to be y. 4x divided by x is going to be 4 plus in here we have 12 and 3y, we can factor 3 in here because that's common between both of them. So I can factor 3 in here. 12 divided by 3 is going to be 4, 3y divided by 3 is going to be y. So y plus 4, 4 plus y, which is the same thing, so we can factor y plus 4. And here we have x plus 3, that's the factor form. Next one is m squared minus 4n plus 4m minus mn. So how do you factor it here? m squared minus 4n, you cannot factor anything in here. However, you can group these two, m squared and 4m. m is common, so m squared divided by m is going to be m. 4m divided by m is going to be 4. What about here? Negative 4n and negative mn. You can factor negative n. That's going to be 4 plus m. So 4 plus m, m plus 4, same thing. You can factor m plus 4. And here you have m minus n. Next one is going to be 2x squared plus 6y plus 4x plus 3xy 
when you factor that you can factor for example 2 in here that's going to be x squared plus 3y what can you factor in here you can factor x in here so 4x divided by x is going to be 4 3xy divided by x is going to be 3y right so that's what we have for now and we cannot factor it more than that so we cannot use group factor if we consider these two let's check that so 2x squared and 4x i can factor 2x there 2x squared divided by 2x is going to be x 4x divided by 2x is going to be 2 on this side you have 6y and 3xy you can factor 3y that's going to be 6y divided by 3y is going to be 2 3xy divided by 3y is going to be x so then you can factor x plus 2 2x plus 3y so basically in this case you could say you could then group factor in here but if we factor 2x in here that worked and this is going to be the final answer next one is going to be 5m squared t minus 10m squared plus t squared minus 2t so here we have 5m when you factor it mt minus uh, minus 2m because negative 10 m squared divided by 5m is going to be negative 2m and here if you factor t is going to be t minus 2 so basically it doesn't help us but what if we group these two the common term is going to be t so you factor t 5m squared plus t and then between these two you can factor negative 2 5m squared plus t then you can factor 5m squared plus t t minus 2 is going to be the final answer next example is x squared plus 2x plus xy plus 2y if you factor x in here it's going to be x plus 2 if you factor y in here it's going to be x plus 2 so it's going to be x plus 2 times x plus y you have 3a squared minus 2b minus 6a plus ab you factor here you cannot factor anything and here you factor a so it doesn't really help let's see if we factor these two and then these two if we group this one 3a squared and negative 6a i can factor 3a 3a squared divided by 3a is going to be a negative 6a divided by 3a is going to be negative 2. then you have negative 2b and ab i can factor b negative negative 2b divided by b is going to be negative 2 ab divided by b is going to be a so when you factor a minus b 3a plus b this is going to be the answer next one is t cube minus t squared plus t minus 1 so basically what we can do here I'm gonna group these two for now so I'm gonna factor t squared t cubed divided by t squared is gonna be t negative t squared divided by t squared is gonna be negative 1 then I can factor t minus 1 from both sides and then we have t squared plus 1 that's gonna be the factor form next one is 10 plus 2t plus 5s plus st 
So now here I can factor 2 then it's going to give me 5 plus t. Here I can factor s is going to give me 5 plus t. Then I can factor 5 plus t and here you have 2 plus s. Next one is 4x squared plus y plus 2xy plus 2x. How to factor that? Basically what we need to do, I'm going to factor these two. 4x squared and 2x, I'm going to factor 2x. It's going to give me 2x plus 1. Then I factor y in here, it's going to be 1 plus 2x. So then you factor 2x plus 1, you have 2x plus y. It's going to be the answer. Next one. AD plus 3A minus D squared minus 3D. So I'm going to factor A in here first. D plus 3. I'm going to factor negative D in here. It's going to be D plus 2. So it's going to be D plus 3. A minus D. Next one is N squared plus 2N plus 3MN plus 6N. I can factor n in here first, then you have n plus 2, you factor m in here, it's going to be 3n plus 2. So that basically doesn't really help. So what I can do, I can check these two, group these two, so factor n is going to make it n minus n plus 3m. And here, between these two, I can factor 2. It's going to be n plus 3m. So that's going to give me n plus 3m times n plus 2. Next one is 2ax squared plus bx squared minus 2ay squared minus by squared. So I'm going to group these two and then these two see what happens so i'm gonna factor x squared from the first two terms is gonna be 2a plus b then i'm gonna factor negative y squared is gonna be 2a plus b because negative 2a y squared divided by negative y squared is gonna be 2a negative b y squared divided by negative y squared is gonna be positive so that's gonna give me 2a plus b x squared minus y squared. This is going to be the final answer. Next one is y z squared minus y cube plus z cube minus y squared z. So basically what we can do, I'm going to fact and group these two and then group these two. When you group these two, I can factor z squared. That's going to be y plus z. Then I can factor negative y squared. y plus z. Then I can factor y plus z. The rest is going to be z squared minus y squared. Next one is going to be y cubed minus y squared minus 4y plus 4. So what we can do here, we can group this one and these two. When you group the first two terms, you can factor y squared. It's going to be y minus 1. When you factor negative 4 in here, it's going to be y minus 1. So it's going to be y squared minus 4. Here you have y minus 1. And then y squared minus 4, you can make it as y minus 2. y plus 2 times y minus 1. Because that's the difference of squares that we had it before. Next one is x squared a plus x squared b minus 16a minus 16b. I'm going to group these two. Factor x squared. And then it's going to be a plus b. 
Then I factor negative 16 in here, so it's going to be a plus b. So when you factor a plus b, it's going to be x squared minus 16. x squared minus 16 is 16 is 4 squared, so you can factor it and write it as x squared minus 4, x squared plus 4. And then also you can factor this one as well because 4 is 2 squared. So it's going to be a plus b, x minus 2 times x plus 2 times x squared plus 4. Next one is x cubed plus x squared minus x minus 1. You factor x squared here is going to be x plus 1. And you factor negative 1 in here, x plus 1. So it's going to be x squared minus 1 times x plus 1. That's x squared minus 1 is the same as x squared minus 1 squared, which is the difference of squares. You can write that as x minus 1 times x plus 1 times x plus 1. That's going to make it as x minus 1 times x plus 1 to the power of 2. And that's the factor form. Next one is a cubed minus a squared minus 8a plus 8. You factor a squared here, it's going to be a minus 1. Then you factor negative 8 here, it's going to be a minus 1. Why did I factor negative 8, not positive 8? Because I wanted to get a term like that inside the bracket. Then I would be able to factor a minus 1. And here you have a squared minus 8. Next example is x cubed minus x squared plus 2x minus 2. What I can do, I can factor x squared is going to be x cubed divided by x squared is going to be x. x squared divided by x squared is going to be 1. Then you factor 2x minus 1. So it's going to be x minus 1 times x squared plus 2. Then you have x cubed plus 5x squared minus 5x minus 2 and a 5. You factor x squared in here, so it's going to make it x plus 5, negative 5x plus 5. So it's going to be x squared minus 5 times x plus 5. X, cube, x squared minus ax plus cx minus ax, ac actually. So x squared minus ax plus cx minus ac. You factor x in here is going to be x minus a. I factor c in here is going to be x minus a. Then you factor x minus a. The remaining is going to be x plus c. Next one is 5x cubed minus 10x squared plus 3x minus 6. What you can do here, you factor 5x squared x minus 2 3 times x minus 2 then you factor x minus 2 5x squared plus 3 x cubed minus 4x squared plus 6x minus 24 here you can factor x squared it's going to be x minus 4 and here you factor 6 it's going to be x minus 4. So it's going to be x minus 4 times x squared plus 6. Next one is going to be x squared plus 2xy plus y squared minus z squared. So how do you factor this one? Group factoring. Basically, We can group factor in here. Uh, you can factor x and this is going to be x plus 2y. And here you have y squared minus z squared. You cannot do anything with the second part of that. Next one is 10 x cubed plus 8x squared plus 15xy plus 12y. 
So factor 2x squared is going to be 5x plus 4. And here you factor uh, 3y is going to make it as 5x plus 4. So that's going to make it 2x squared plus 3y times 5x plus 4. Next one is 2x cubed minus 10x squared plus 4x minus 20. You factor here 2x squared x minus 5, factor 4 x minus 5, then you factor x minus 5, 2x squared plus 4. What you can do, you can factor 2 as well. It's going to be x minus 5, x squared plus 2. Next one is 3x squared plus xy minus 3xz minus yz. You factor x in here, it's going to be 3x plus y. You factor negative z in here, it's going to make it 3x plus y. So that's going to make it 3x plus y, x minus z. Next example is 8x cubed minus 64x squared plus x minus 8. Here you can factor from these two, you can factor 8x squared. That's going to make it x minus 8 plus x minus 8. Then you can factor x minus 8 is going to make it as 8x squared plus 1. Next one is going to be 12y cubed minus 21y squared plus 28y minus 49. What you can do here, the GCF of these two is 3y squared. 12y cubed divided by 3y squared is going to be 4y. 21y squared divided by 3y squared is going to be 7. 28y minus 49 is going to be 7. You factor 7. 28y divided by 7 is going to be 4y. 49 divided by 7 is going to be 7. So you have 4y minus 7. 3y squared plus 7 is going to be the final answer. Next one is 12r cubed plus 2r squared minus 30r minus 5. You factor 2r squared here and then 12r cubed divided by 2r squared is going to be 6r. 2r squared divided by 2r squared is going to be positive 1. Negative 30r minus 5, you factor negative 5. Negative 30r divided by negative 5 is going to be 6r. Negative 5 divided by negative 5 is going to be plus 1. Then you factor 6r plus 1. Here you're going to end up having 2r squared minus 5. Next one is going to be 6x cubed minus 16x squared plus 21x minus 56. Here you factor 2x is going to make it 3x squared minus 8x. And here you factor between 21x minus 56, you factor 7, is going to be 3x minus negative 56 divided by 7 is going to be minus 8. Here you need to factor another x, so it's going to be 2x squared, 3x minus 8, and here you have 3x minus 8, so you're going to end up having 2x squared plus 7 times 3x minus 8, and 3x minus 8 was common factor between these two. Next one is 63 p cubed plus 
p squared minus 105 p minus 90. Here you factor, you have 63, 9 times 7, 54, 9 times 6. So I'm going to factor 9p squared from these two. So 63p cubed divided by 9p squared is going to be 7p. 54p squared divided by 9 is going to be 6. And here you factor... You can factor 15. When you factor 15, it's going to be 7p plus 6. Because 105 divided by 15 is 7. 90 divided by 15 is going to be 6. Then you factor 7p plus 6. 9p squared minus 1. Now, check that, for example, we wanted to group these two. 63p cubed and 105p. I'm going to say or. The GCF for these two is going to be 21p. 63p cubed divided by 21p is going to be 3p squared minus 105p divided by 21p is going to be 5. Here we have 54p squared minus 90. I can factor 18. So 54p squared divided by 18 is going to be 3p squared minus 90 divided by 18 is going to be 5. So it's going to make it 21p plus 18. 3p squared minus 5. You can factor 3 here as well. So that's going to make it as 3, 7p plus 6, 3p squared minus 5. I need to mention that here in the first one. I forgot to write 15 here because Negative 105p divided by 7p is going to be 15. Negative 90 divided by 15 is going to be positive 6. So the answer is going to be 9p squared minus 15. So now if you basically factor 3 in here, it's going to make it as 3, 7p plus 6, 3p squared minus 5. That's exactly what we got in here as well. So it's basically doesn't matter which two you select. Next one. Twenty one M cube minus eighty four M squared plus fifteen M minus sixty. So group factor these two, 21m squared you factor, it's going to make it m minus 4. And here you factor 15m minus 4, that's going to make it as 21m squared plus 15m minus 4. Then you factor 3, 7m squared plus 5m minus 4. You could also... Choose these two, you factor 3m, then it's going to be 7m squared plus 5. Then you factor these two and you move on. I can show it to you. You can say or. You group these two, you factor 3m, it's going to be 7m squared plus 5. Negative. Here you have 60 and 84m squared. That's going to factor 12. 7m squared plus 5. Then you factor 7m squared plus 5. 3m minus 12. You factor 3 in here. It's going to be 3 times. 7m squared plus 5m minus 4. That's exactly what we got in the beginning. Next one is 25 
n cube plus 5 n squared plus 30 n plus 6. Here you can choose these two. You can factor 5 n squared. 25 n cubed divided by 5 n squared is going to be 5 n divided plus 1. Here you factor 6, 5n plus 1. It's going to make it as 5n plus 1 times 5n squared plus 6. Or you could group these two and then these two. When you group these two, the GCF is going to be 5n. Next example is going to be 105x cubed plus 175x squared minus 75x minus 125. So first of all, we can factor the whole thing by 5. 21x cubed plus 175 divided by going to be 35 75 divided by 5 is going to be 15 125 divided by 5 is going to be 25 now 35 is 5 and 7 21 is 5 and 7 so you can factor basically 7x squared 3x plus 5 here you factor negative 5 3x plus 5 then you factor 3x plus 5 7x squared minus 5 that's going to be the final answer you could also group these two and then these two Next one it says 96x cubed minus 84x squared plus 112x minus 98. How do you factor that? 96, 84, 112, and 98. You can factor it by 2 for now. That's going to make it 48x cubed minus 42x squared plus 56x minus 49. Then you can factor 6x squared from these guys. So 48x cubed divided by 6x squared is going to be 8x. 42x squared divided by 6x squared is going to be 7 here you factor 8 or you factor 7 is going to make it as 8x minus 7 so 2 times 8x minus 7 6x squared plus 7 next one is 28y cubed plus 16y squared minus 21 y minus 12. You factor 4y squared from the first two terms is going to make it 7y plus 4. Here you factor negative 3 is going to make it 7y plus 4 because negative 21y divided by negative 3 is going to be 7y negative 12 divided by negative 3 is going to be 4. Then you factor 7y plus 4 it's going to make it as 4y squared minus 3. Next one. 4m cubed minus 12m squared minus 5m plus 15. You factor 4m squared. m minus 3. m minus 3. m minus 3. 4m squared minus 5. Very simple. Next one, 49x cubed minus 35x squared plus 56x minus 40. Here, 49 is 7 by 7. 
35 is 7 by 5. So you can factor 7x squared. That's going to make it 7x minus 5. And here, 56 is 7 times 8. 40 is 8 times 10. So you factor 8, 7x minus 5. Then you factor 7x minus 5, 7x squared plus 8. Next one is 24a cubed plus 15a squared minus 56a minus 35. You factor 3 in here, 3a squared is going to make it 8a plus 5. And here you factor 7, negative 7 is going to be 8a plus 5. So it's going to make it as 8a plus 5, 3a squared minus 7. Next one is 24r cubed minus 64r squared minus 21r plus 56. You factor 8r squared. Is going to make it 3r minus 8. Here you factor 7, 3r minus 8. So it's going to be 3r minus 8, 8r squared minus 7. Next one is 56xw plus 49x k squared minus 24 yw minus 21 yk squared so in here we can basically factor let's factor these two first group these two it's going to make it 7x is common between these two 56xw divided by 7x is going to be 8w and here if you divide it, it's going to give us 7k squared Negative 24yw minus 21yk squared is going to be negative 3y. It's going to be 8w plus 7k squared, which is going to basically 8w plus 7k squared, 7x minus 3y. Next one is going to be. 42mc plus 36md minus 7n squared c minus 6n squared d. Then you factor here, it's going to be 6m, 7c plus 6d, and you factor here negative n squared, 7c plus 6d. You factor 7c plus 60, 6m minus n squared. And the last one is going to be 12x squared y plus 3x squared v plus 28 yu plus 7y v. As you see here, if you look at these two, you can factor 3x squared. It's going to make it as 4u plus v. Here, 7y is going to be 4u plus v. 4u plus v. And here you have 3x squared plus 7y. So basically, these are the examples for factoring by grouping i hope you enjoyed this video please leave me a comment if you have any question please don't forget to subscribe this channel you can have access to many other videos regarding math physics and chemistry you can just subscribe this channel and then go to the playlist thank you for watching and have a great day